Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. Hello. Sorry, good day. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Hugo. Hello, Maria Dolores. Ivan, Flor de Maria. Damaris and Francisco Antonio, welcome to the class. It's nice to see you tonight. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine, teacher. Waiting for you. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks for asking me. How was your day today? Excellent. It was excellent. That's great. Very good. Okay. Did you enjoy the long weekend? We had four days to rest. Did you enjoy the vacation? Yes. Yes. I, I enjoyed so much. Yes. Okay. That's great. So let's see. Uh, the last class, uh, we finished the section number three, right? And then. Uh, do you have any question about the section number three and also about the midterm exam? It is supposed that you have no a problem teaching the midterm exam. No, no, right? teacher. ¿Quién terminó el examen de medio curso ya? Yo, teacher. Okay. Well, teacher. Maria Dolores, too. Very good. Anyone who has already finished that? I finished, teacher. But Francisco, too. Flor de Maria. Finish. Ready, finish. 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 Okay, that's great. Very good. <coughs> now, do you have any question? Did you have any problem during the midterm exam? A la primera sacaron el 100%? No, the chair, la segunda. Ah, okay. You have to take it. En algunas a la segunda, en otras a la primera. Ah, okay. That's great. No problem. It was easy or difficult or very difficult? Difficult. More or less. Okay. So, so you say it was so, so. So let's start with this review. Tonight we are going to have a review of the first three sections. Uh, we are going to listen some conversation. We are going to solve some exercises and we are going to remember the topic that we have already studied during this English course. And, and also we are going to study hub two. Tonight we are going to study hub two, right? Eh, utilizamos el hub two para expresar uh, algo que usted debe de hacer. You have to clean your room, for example. Tú tienes que, ¿verdad? tú tienes que limpiar tu cuarto. Y expresa un poquito de obligación, ¿verdad? You have to study hard. Usted tiene que estudiar. You have to practice English. Usted tiene que practicar. Esa va a ser la segunda parte de la clase del día de hoy. But let's start with the first part. Let's go with this review. No question about the platform. No, no hay preguntas acerca de la plataforma. No, teacher. No, okay. Ninguna teacher. No, teacher, no. Okay, let's see. Sí, teacher, yo tengo una consulta. Bye. ¿Alguien me está escribiendo al WhatsApp? ¿Está conectado? Bueno, dígame cuál es su consulta. Dice que yo tengo, eh, bueno, la verdad me quise adelantar. Y en el ejercicio, ahorita le quiero decir, en el 5.2, pero no hemos llegado ahí. No sé si me espero, porque ahí hay una que no. Ok, no problem, we okay. can see it. Let's see, me dice. dice que... Sección 5. 5.2 del uso del where o was. Okay, give me a second. Okay, can you see the exercise? Eh, in a, yeah, in, in we, we was in a board in the use 
Esta sería la segunda. Ok. We, we weren't born in the U.S. We weren't. A mí no me agarra el, el weren't. O sea, lo pongo y no sé por qué no me lo agarra. Ok, let's see. We weren't. Y en esta misma está, quiero ver, la siguiente que es... ¿Cuál es my, la de my, my parents? My parents weren't. Exacto, y, y no me lo agarra tampoco. Ah, ok. Probablemente. Y yo lo quise hacer el fin de semana. Y... Estos ejercicios no se pudieron. Ok, very good question. Thank you. Thank you for asking me. So as you can see, weren't is the right answer. Probably uh, your problem is that you are using the and let's see, está usando el acento en español. And here we need the apostrophe. Probablemente ese sea el problema. Tiene que utilizar el apóstrofe. Pero todas las demás, si me lo agarro, solo estas dos no. Solo estas dos no. Ajá. Ok, let's do something. Can you copy this from the chat and paste? Can you do that? Ok. Let's see. Ok, there you have. So try it. Intente copiar esto y pegarlo en el espacio. And let's okay. see if it is work. A ver si funciona. Eh, okay. Teacher, ok, I can't turn on my camera because I have a lower internet connection. But I am listening to class. Ok, thank you, Samuel. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Any other question? No. No, no questions. Okay, thank you. Let's start then with the review. I'm gonna share with you the presentation of tonight. I'm sharing with you my uh, screen. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Midterm exam review. So welcome to the class number eight. Let's start with this, right? The lesson object is for tonight. In this session, the students are going to use the grammatical structure and vocabulary learned in the first three sections to complete some exercises. That is the lesson object for tonight. So here we go. Let's start with this small conversation. So take a look at this conversation. Are you going, uh, okay, are you gonna do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great, how old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13, he is growing up. Yes, he's going uh, to go on a high school next year. So in this conversation, we are going to sound gonna in the pronunciation of going to. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in this small conversation? Yes, teacher. Growing, growing up. up. Okay, growing up is uh, para decir él está creciendo. Growing, growing up. 13, he's growing up. Él está creciendo. So listen to the conversation. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Any other new word? What about pronunciation? Any difficult word to pronounce in this small conversation? Let's see, for example, how do you pronounce this word, guys? Special. 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 Okay. Special. Special. Thank you. Special. Special. Thank you. What about this other one? How do you pronounce this one? Anything. 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 Thank you. Anything. Any other one? Anything. Birthday. 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 Okay. Birthday. 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 And what about this number? How do you pronounce this number? 
13. Okay. 13. 13. Okay. Let, let's yeah. listen again. Let's listen again this conversation. And then we're going to practice. So here we go. Listen again, please. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to try? Anyone? Two volunteers. Don't forget the sound gonna. Are you gonna do anything special? How old is he gonna be? He, he is gonna be 13. He is gonna go to high school next year. Okay, I have Jose Alberto and Maria Dolores, please. Jose Alberto, you are A and Maria, you are B. Are you gonna to do anything special this with Yuli? Well, it is Mark. Mark birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He is going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. Yes, he he's going gonna go on the high school next year. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So in the first one, are you gonna do? Are you gonna do? Are you gonna do anything special? Are you gonna do anything special? Okay, ya no tenemos que pronunciar el tú, ¿verdad? Porque el going to se convierte en gonna. So are you gonna? Are you gonna do? Don't forget about that. Thank you so much, Jose Alberto you, and Maria Jordan. Dolores. Then let's listen Hugo and Francisco Antonio, please. Okay. Hey, Vera, teacher. Yes, Hugo, you are A. Okay. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Jul? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? 13? He's, he's grown with. Yes. But Yes, he's gonna go on a high school next year. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, growing up, he's growing up, growing up. And 13, he's gonna be 13. 13, he's growing up. Okay, thank you. Excellent job in this part. Thank you so much, Hugo and Francisco Antonio. It'll Let's work go good. with the next. This is the second conversation we're going to study. And also it's about going to. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday. But well, we're going to have the party on the weekend, on Saturday or Sunday. On Saturday, everybody can come that day. So pay attention to the pronunciation, please, in this conversation. Two. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Any question? No vocabulary in this conversation? No question, then I need to volunteer to practice. Teacher, teacher. Well, yes. well, 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 en B de la parte 2, la segunda respuesta de la B. Okay, well, well, his birthday is on Friday. Well significa bueno. Bueno, su fiesta es el viernes, pero la fiesta la vamos a tener el fin de semana. O la fiesta será en el fin de semana. Sería bueno. Well. Gracias. Okay, I have Hugo. Hugo Giovanni, any other volunteer to practice in this conversation? 
If no, I'm going to choose somebody. So, Jonathan, thank you so much. Hugo, you are A. Jonathan, you are B. Gonna. Don't forget okay. about the gonna sound. Okay, teacher. So, what are, what are you going to do you for his birthday? We are going to have a, a party for, for, for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday. Friday would be what? We are going to have the party on weekend. Um, have the party, the party on the weekend? On Saturday, every ball, every bus, and come Thursday. Excellent. Thank you so much, Hugo and Jonathan. Just let's review these the following words. Let's see. How do you pronounce this one? How do you pronounce this word? Can you help me, please? Verde. 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 Okay. Yeah. What about this other one? Him. 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 We are gonna. We are him. gonna have a party for him. For and, him. Okay. Let's see which other one. Hmm? Okay. Oh, this this other one. Everybody. 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 Um, Okay, on Saturday, everybody can come that day. Everybody can come that day. Uh, what is the meaning of this word, by the way? Any idea? What is the meaning of this word? Todos. 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 Thank you so much. So, Maria Dolores, do you want to participate or you have a question? No, participate. Ah, okay, excellent. I need another volunteer to practice with Maria Dolores. Ivan, can you help me, please? Oh, yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Do it. A on B. Yeah. Let's see. A Maria Dolores, you are A. Ivan, you are B. Okay. okay. So, what are you going to do for his birthday? We are going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are when are you gonna have have it? No sé cómo se pronuncia ese teacher, perdón. Have it. Gonna have it. Okay. When it. are you gonna have it? Have it. Have it. Yes. Well, it's been like it's on Friday, but we are gonna have a party on the weekend. On Saturday, on Sunday. On Saturday, everybody can come that day. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maria Dolores, Ivan, Hugo, and Jonathan in this park. Thank you. Very good pronunciation. Thank you so much. So, Damaris, do you want to participate? And I, I had another participant. So, just keep your hand up, please. Just keep your hand up. Participate, teacher. Okay. I have Francisco and Damaris. So, Francisco, you are A. Damaris, you are B. Damaris. Okay. Okay, teacher. So, what are you going to do for his birthday? We, we are going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well. His birthday is on Friday, but we are going to have the party on weekend. On Saturday, on Sunday. On Saturday, everybody can come on that day. Okay, thank you so much. Very good job, Francisco and Damaris. Thank you. No se queden con la ganas de participar. Solo tengan su manita arriba, ¿eh? No la quiten, ¿de acuerdo? Thank you so much. Very good job. Let's go to the next. I have another conversation. Okay, now let's see. What kind of party are you going to have? So ya vimos cuándo va a ser, cuántos años está cumpliendo. ¿Quién se acuerda? 
How old is he gonna be? How old is he gonna be? Thirteen. Thirteen. And when is gonna be the party? It's Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, excellent. And why? Why on Sunday? ¿Por qué en domingo? Because, Because everybody can come. Can come. Okay. Everybody can Porque come that day. Ok, because everybody can come to the party. Ok, excelente. So, let's listen. What kind of party? Aquí sería, ¿qué tipo de fiesta? ¿Qué tipo de fiesta les gusta? What kind of party do you like? Dancing party? ¿Les gustan las fiestas con baile? Dancing party? No. Karaoke party. Do you like karaoke party? ¿Ya han participado yes. en un so, karaoke? So. I like karaoke so, party. So, so. Ah, ok. Y, uh, so, so. y desahogarse cantando las de Vicente. Okay, now let's see. Uh, let's listen this conversation. Give me a second. What is it? Ah, okay, here we go. Listen. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD. And the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. Okay. Any new vocabulary in this conversation? New vocabulary? New words? Karaoke party. Podría repetirlo. El audio. Ah, okay. No problem. We can listen again. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. Any question in this conversation? No question. I no need question, to teacher. I yes. need to volunteer to practice. Don't forget the gonna sound, please. Thank you, Samuel and Hugo. Thank you, Samuel. You are A. a Hugo, you are B. Let's start. Okay. Um, what kind of party are you gonna gonna have? Oh, well, we are you going? Are you gonna? I have, I have, a, I have a karaoke party. Ah, uh, what? You know, karaoke people stand up, uh, stand and uh, sing and uh, sing song the music. Pero, sorry, music on C C D and the world. Are you the television? I see some Mark likes karaoke. He loves it. Okay, thank you so much. He loves it. Thank you. Teacher, have a question. Yes, what is your question? And this music uh, is on the CD, algo así, ah, no sé cómo se pronuncia, CD o cómo. CD. The CD. music oh. is on a CD. It work, works ever, works. Words. words and the words are on the television okay excellent job thank you samuel thank you hugo now let's listen maria dolores and jose alberto hurry up guys maria you are a and you are b jose okay teacher yo soy a perdón yo soy a yes okay What kind of party are you going gonna have? Oh well, we are going gonna have a karaoke party. 
Away. You know, karaoke. People stand up um, sing song. The music is on a CD. And the words are the television. I see. So Mark like karaoke. He loves he love it. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. So what kind of party are you going to have? Let's go with the last small conversation Three. for tonight. Any, oh, sorry, that was the last one. Let's see. Yes, it was the last one. Now I have this. Are you going to have a Christmas party? You are going to answer this question. If the, let's see, if the circle is green, you are going to give me an affirmative answer. If the circle is blue, you are going to give me a negative answer. So let's see the first one. Are you going to have a Christmas party? What is a good answer for this question? Are you going to have a Christmas party? Leslie, are you going to have a Christmas party? Yes, I, gonna, I, I go to Christmas party. Okay, so you say, I'm going to have, yes, I'm going to have a Christmas party. Oh, la respuesta corta sería, yes, I am. No, I not. ¿Va a tener una fiesta navideña o una fiesta de Navidad? You say, yes, I, I am. am. No, I not. O la respuesta larga, yes, I'm going to have a Christmas party at the home with my family. We are going to eat some people, right? And we are going to drink wine. So I have a question. Yeah. Sorry. Eh, ¿Verdad que cuando uno dice, eh, bueno, si uno quiere responder toda la pregunta completa o solo quiere contratar la, la pregunta, solo se usa para responderle, yes, I am, o no, I not. Así es. Es opcional. Funciona bien. Funciona sí, si usted quiere responder con una respuesta corta, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yo, okay. Si usted quiere, yes, I'm going to have a Christmas party. También puede hacerlo, no hay ningún problema. Number two, is she going to buy present for her family? Ya dijo Leslie que va a tener fiesta. Ahora la pregunta es, is she going to buy present for her family? Yes. Yes, yeah. I am. Okay. Yes. Is yes. she going to buy present yes, for her family? Yes, uh, here. Yes, she yes. gonna buy. Yes, she is. Okay. Uh, Sería, yes, she is. Yes. Uh, sure. yes, she is. Oh, yes, she's gonna buy present for her family. Uh, oh, wow. Number three, are they going to go to a birthday party? Are they gonna go to a birthday party? No. Uh, let's yes, see. they are. Ah, okay, very good. So you say the green one was an affirmative answer. So are you going to have a Christmas party? Yes, I am. Is she going to buy present for her family? No, she? What? No, she's not. No, she's not? Okay, no, she's not, a, no, she isn't. Number three, are they gonna go to a birthday party? It's green, so an affirmative answer is? Yes, they are going are gonna to birthday party. Okay, excellent. Yes, Number, they are. Yes, they are, oh yes, they're gonna go to a birthday party. Number four, is he gonna decorate a Christmas tree? Negative answer, is he gonna decorate a Christmas tree? No, he's not. Yes, we are. No. Yes, he is. Negative. It's no, negative. It's no, negative. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Sorry, Hey, number five. Are we gonna buy firecrackers? No, we are not. Yes, we are. 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 Yes, we are gonna yes, buy firecrackers. Okay. Yes, we are. Here, yes, excuse are. me. What yes. is by firecracker? What is? Oh, cohetes, firecrackers, como cohetes. Ah, okay. Ah, Todavía Ch les gusta reventar morteros, silbadores. 
Yes. No. No. Yes, teacher. Yes, it's great. Okay. Yes, it's great. Teacher, uh, solo una consulta. Mm -hmm. uh, cuando comienza con el we, uh, are we gonna buy firefox? Uh, sería la respuesta, yes, we are, o no, we are. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? Um, para no decir toda la, 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 o sea, no decir gonna to buy toda la, la, o sea, la, la respuesta larga. La respuesta okay. otros, ajá. Yes, we are. Ajá. Sería la opción afirmativa. Yes, we are. No, we, o, no claro. we aren't sería, o no we are not, are. o we no are. we aren't sería okay. la negativa. Ajá, la respuesta más corta. Así es, las respuestas cortas. Ok, so, Thank is you. it going to be fun? Is it gonna be fun? Or is it going to be fun? It's a negative answer. No, no it is no, not. It's, no, it's not. not. No, okay. it's not. No, oh, no, it's not. It's no, it isn't. isn't. Okay, very good. No yeah, question. How do you say foul? It's ventilador, right? Excuse me, can you please repeat, Hugo? Uh, be fun or be fun? ¿Cómo sería la, la, la? Be fun. Be, be fun. Es ventilador. Mm -hmm. oh. No. In no this case, okay, in this case, an objective. Sí, va a estar divertido. Okay. Divertido. Ah, sí, está divertido. divertido. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's go in the next. What are you going to do next weekend? Oh, now you have to give me information. It is not more a yes, no question. So what are you going to do next weekend? Information. Any volunteer to answer this question? So plans, plans for your next weekend. What are you gonna do next weekend? I am um, gonna play soccer on Sunday. Excellent answer. Thank you so much. So you say I'm gonna play soccer on I'm gonna Sunday. I'm gonna next weekend uh, practice the waltz. Okay, I'm gonna practice a waltz. Va a practicar un waltz. No, bus, eh, bus, bajo, bus. Ah, okay. I'm going to practice the bus. bus. Okay, the playing bus. the bus. I'm going to practice playing the bus. Ah, uh, playing, sorry. Okay, excellent. So, any other plan? What are you going to do next weekend? Plans, plans, plans. Let's see, I'm going to choose somebody here. So, get ready. Jonathan, can you tell me, please? What are you going to do next weekend? Uh, at work. I okay. I'm gonna. I'm going to work. Okay, excellent. I'm going to work. Thank you. So let's see, Julio Cesar, what are you going to do next weekend? Julio Cesar. Probably he's busy right now. Flor de Maria, what are you going to do next weekend? Uh, I'm gonna to visit my uncle. Excellent answer. Thank you. So you say, I'm gonna visit my uncle. Thank you. Now let's go with Leslie Lisette. When are you gonna go to the park? When are you gonna go to the park? I'm gonna go to the park Sunday. Okay, it's thank you so much. You say, I'm gonna go to the park on Sunday. Ivan, when are you gonna go to the park? I'm gonna play basketball with my parents. Okay, thank you. That is a great plan. That is an answer for the first question. Esa es para la primera, ¿verdad? Voy a jugar basketball with my, you say? When is cuando? La segunda es when, cuando. When? Cuando, que día? Sunday or Saturday? When are you gonna go to the park? It's cuando. Now let's go with the third one. Where are you going to celebrate your birthday? Donde? Yes. She's asking for a place. Donde? Where are you going to celebrate your birthday? Any volunteer to answer the third question? I'm going uh, to celebrate my birthday in my house. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Very good answer. I'm going to celebrate my birthday at my house. Excellent. And the last one, who are you going to invite to your birthday party? Now, who is asking for? Quien. Okay, well, quien, yes. right? People, right? For personas, a person or people. Who are you going to invite to your birthday party? Okay, I have, I'm going to do people. Sorry, I'm going to do people. My be best friends. Uh -huh. I'm going to okay. invite to my parents and my, my friends. Excellent. Thank you so much for your answer. Yes, I'm going to invite. I'm going to invite my parents and my friends. Excellent. Thank you. Any question about this? Okay, don't forget this. Uh, when is asking for a uh, for time? Right? Cuando? Where is asking for a place? And who is asking for a person? Yeah. Cuando? Donde? Quien? Y la primera what? So que que o cual? What are que o cual? Don't forget about that information question. Thank you so much. Then let's go with the next. Let's continue with this review. Then we learn this in the section number two, common illnesses. Do you remember some of them? Which are some common illnesses? How are you? Oh, inf enfermedades comunes. Do you remember about that? Stomach ache. Okay, stomach ache. Which are the Couch. Back ache. Cold. Cold, backache. Headache. Creo que así va. Duele la cabeza. Headache. 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 Stomachache. Toothache. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Thank you. Diarrhea. The neck. Okay. Uh, what do you say? My neck heart. Me duele el cuello. Okay. Very good. So neck now let's heart. see. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Okay, excellent. I can see that you remember a lot of these common illnesses. Now, these two questions, how are you and how do you feel? And also we study what's wrong and what's the matter. How are you today? How are you? Any answer? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, yes. I'm fine. Very, very great. good. I'm great. I'm very, very good. good. Very I'm good. terrific. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. Ahora, una respuesta negativa. Todas esas fueron, estoy bien, ¿verdad? Me siento excelente. Muy bien. Pero ahora, en caso de que se sintiera mal, how are you? I'm sick. Thank you. You say, I'm sick. I don't feel good, teacher. Excellent. I, I don't feel I, good. I feel bad. Yes. I feel bad. I so so. I'm awful. I'm awful. So, so. I'm okay. I'm, I'm so, awful. so so. I'm so so. I'm so so. so. Terrible. I'm terrible. The terrible. Ter not terrible. very well. Terrible. I'm How terrible. Well. How do you say terrible? Terrible. terrible. I feel terrible. Uh, thank you. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. Excellent. So, después de escuchar una de estas respuestas, inmediatamente preguntamos, what's what? wrong? Or, what's the matter? What's the matter? Then, probably we are going to, he to hear the next answer. I have a headache. I have sore eyes. Remember this. Para hablar acerca de las enfermedades, vamos a utilizar el verbo. ¿Cuál verbo utilizamos? Have. El verbo have. Ok. Utilizamos el verbo have. So you say, I have a headache. I have sore eyes. Tengo un dolor de cabeza. Tengo ardor en los ojos. And then we give some advices using imperative sentences. Después de eso, ¿verdad? Que escuchamos, I have a headache. Inmediatamente damos un consejo, ¿verdad? Utilizando oraciones imperativas. 
Take a look at this example. Take an aspirin. Don't watch TV. Put eye drops. Don't touch your eyes. Take an aspirin. Para cual es ese es consejo, ese advice. Esa oración yep. imperativa. Ok, para la persona que dijo, I have a headache. Take an aspirin. What about put eye drops? I have a sore eyes. Okay, to the person who said, I have sore eyes. Don't touch your eyes. No haga eso, ¿verdad? no se toque los ojos. And don't watch TV. No vea televisión. Ese aplica para los dos, ¿verdad? Don't watch TV. And then we have uh, affirmative imperative sentences. And also we have eh, negative imperative sentences. Cuando decimos algo que sí puede hacer, entonces solo es el verbo, ¿verdad? Y el complement. Take an aspirin, put eye drops. Si es algo que no debe de hacer, empezamos con don. Don't watch TV. Don't touch your eyes. No. Do you remember about this? Do you have any question? No teacher, no. No question. Ah, okay, excellent then. And finally, you found this exercise or this reading home remedies on the midterm exam. Do you have any question about this vocabulary? Oh, sorry, a new vocabulary in this reading. Había vocabulario nuevo, palabras difíciles en esta lectura. Home remedies, remedios caseros. Do home remedies really work? That is a question. What do you think? Do home remedies really work? ¿Funcionan los remedios caseros en realidad? Yes. Yes, they yes, do. Teacher, yes. No, they don't. Yes, yes, yes. they do. Yes, yes they I do. do. Yes, they uh -huh. do. Many people say yes. Muchas personas dicen, sí, al igual que usted, try this simple home remedies. Okay, the next time that you have an illness, try this simple home remedies. Let's see the first one. For a cold, for example. What is a cold? Resfriado. Okay, para un resfriado, what can you do for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. ¿Han probado alguno de estos home remedies? Have you ever tried some of these home remedies? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Sí, teacher. La sopita caliente de pollo, de gallina. Si es gallina india, mejor, más rápido, se le va la gripe. So, hot chicken soup. Eh, what about... I have drink lemon, lemon oh, juice. Lemon juice. And what about red pepper? Chile. Chile verde, algo así. Eh, no. Pimienta. Rojo, rojo. Red, Pimienta. red. Chile rojo, azúcar y jugo de limón. Y leche en mil. ¿A qué sabrá eso? Bueno, let's go with the next one. No me lo quiero imaginar. No me lo quiero probar. Okay, a cold. Let's see a cold. Do you have a bad cold? Drink warm tea or taste some honey. This can make your throat feel better. Es así funciona. ¿verdad? Tome té caliente o tome algo de miel. Esto le ayudará ¿verdad? a su garganta a estar bien. Perfect. Question. Let's go to the next one, a headache. What about headache? Put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water. You can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. Okay. The first option is very common. Okay, put a cold cloth on your head. Really? Creí que solo funcionaba para la fiebre, for the fever. No. Ponerse un paño húmedo en la cabeza. 
eh, splash your face with cold water. Se acabó el agua en la red, frío, en el, en el rostro, se la rocé. Nice. You can also put your hand in cold water. This can help. ¿Han probado alguna vez esa? No, teacher. Puedes no. poner tus manos en agua caliente. This can help. Bueno, quizás el dolor de la quemada se le olvida el dolor de cabeza. <risa> Podría funcionar. Very probable. Who knows? Then the last one is insomnia. Can't sleep at night. Drink a large glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath. Is it true? No. Not really. No. Me acabé, really. me acabé el galón de leche y no me dormí. Eh, yeah. Agua, eh, eh, la leche fría funciona. Ah, ok. María, a María sí le funciona. En de las venidas. Okay. Le funciona, teacher. También le funciona, ok. No, no, no le funciona, teacher. La vez pasada <risas> me dormí que es como a las 4 de la mañana porque no puedo dormir. Oh, insomnia, right? Don't work too hard. Recuerdan ese consejo? Don't work too hard. Don't stress. Probably that is the... Trabajar muy duro. Así es. Probably. Probablemente eso le da insomnio. ¿no? Está pensando en el trabajo. O no trabajar. <ríe> También Correct. podría ser. No se cansa. No, no le da sueño luego. Ok. Y, Don't drink pues, coffee. Don't drink coffee, right? Don't drink coffee. That could help too. Eso le puede ayudar también. Uh, then this was the midterm exam. Do you have any question about this? No. No. Bueno, ya todos lo realizaron. Espero que sí, ¿verdad? Espero que ya todos hayan tomado este examen y que se hayan sacado el 100% en todos los ejercicios. Recuerde que en la plataforma puede regresar y hacer el ejercicio nuevamente si no le salió bien en el primer intento. ¿Ok? El objetivo de la plataforma es para que usted practique. ¿Ok? Then let's go yeah. with the second part of this class. Yes, you have a question, Leslie? No. No. Who say teacher? Bueno, quizás la almohada me está llamando. Let's see. Things people have to do. Eh, hey, las cosas que las personas tenemos que hacer. ¿no? So this is the second part of the class. Okay. Have to and don't have to. So have to, algo que debo hacer. Don't have to, algo que no es necesario hacer. So look at this. How to use it. You have to when you think it's necessary to do something or you are obligated to do it. Vamos a utilizar esta expresión have to cuando pensamos que es necesario hacer algo o estamos obligados a hacer. Example. Any volunteer to read the example, please, in this part? Who wants to help me? Yes. I have to. Let's, let's say Jonathan. Go ahead, Jonathan, please. Jonathan? What? Can you help me read the examples, please? Uh, I have to work. Okay, thank you. I have to work tomorrow. Let's see. Jose Alberto, do you have a question or do you want to read the examples? Real. Okay. Example. Okay, read the one and the two, please. One and two. And then Ivan, three and four, please. Okay. I have to do my, my homework. I have to work tomorrow. He I has to, to go to the dentist. Oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Continue. Please. Okay, thank you. He has to go to the dentist. He has to clean the house. Thank you so much. Ok, ¿qué pasaría si usted no hace la tarea? What would happen? I don't learn. I don't learn. 
Ok, I don't okay. learn. Okay. Esa es una, usted no aprende. The second. Si no hace la tarea, no aprende. Si no hace la tarea, eh, let's see, no va a tener una buena nota, ¿verdad? Then I have to do my homework. Es necesario hacer la tarea, ¿verdad? You have to do it. So I have to do my homework. I have to work tomorrow. Tengo que trabajar mañana. Esta es una obligación, ¿verdad? She has to go to the dentist. Probablemente esta persona tiene un toothache. Tiene un dolor de muelas. So she has to go to the dentist. No es opcional, pero tiene que ir. Eh, he has to clean the house. Eh, ¿Qué pasaría si no limpiamos la casa? Está todo desordenado por todos lados. So he has to clean the house. Él tiene que hacerlo. Then, esta es la estructura que necesitamos. Con I, you, we, and they, we are going to use have to más el verbo. With he, she, and it, we are going to use has to plus the verb. Entonces, this, I have to, you have to, we have to, they have to. He has to, she has to, it has to. Any question? Uh, teacher, eh, cuando hablamos ya de, de la otra persona, tendríamos que ya usar la, la eh, ya usar una tercera persona, que sería has, ¿verdad? Has. Así es, tenemos que usar la tercera persona, has to. Ok, now let's see this. In negative statement, it means that it is not necessary to do it. Eh, en una oración negativa, entonces eh, no es necesario hacer alguna cosa. Let's see, for example, I don't have to go to school on Saturday. No tengo que ir a la escuela en sábado. They don't have to dance. No están obligados a bailar. Ellos no tienen que bailar. She doesn't have to go now. Ella no tiene por qué irse en este momento. She doesn't have to go now. He has to clean the house. Oh, so he, said, yeah. he doesn't have in this one. He doesn't have to clean the house. Él no tiene que limpiar la casa. Let's write the sentence. ¿Cómo nos quedaría esta oración? He has to clean the house. Y si no tiene que hacerlo porque ya está limpio o alguien lo hizo antes. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't, okay. clean the house. He doesn't have to. Clean. He doesn't have, have to clean the house. Okay. Do you have any questions? Preguntas? He doesn't no have to clean the house. No question? Is it no easy question. or difficult, this topic? Ok, está difícil o no mucho. Ok, entonces, take a look at this. I have, I don't have to, you don't have to, we don't have to, they don't have to. En, en tercera persona vamos a utilizar doesn't. He doesn't have to, she doesn't have to. And also, it doesn't have to. Teacher, y entonces yes. ahí en, en la tercera persona ya no se va a usar el, 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 el have, se usa have igual que con, con I, you, we, they. Sí, eh, porque anteriormente le había puesto has, ¿verdad? O me equivoco, ah, has. Sí es. No, está en lo correcto. Lo que pasa es que el das, sorry. Lo que, pasa, lo que pasa es que el das pues, ya como lo consume, la S ya no, ya no es. El, el, verbo, el verbo vuelve a, a, a lo original, ¿verdad, Ticha? Thank you, Hugo. Yes, así es, ¿verdad? Pero eh, eso la, aplica en las oraciones negativas, únicamente. En las oraciones negativas, únicamente. En la oración teacher, afirmativa. Uh -huh. Mi teacher, eso me pasaba en una de las oraciones del de meeting, creo. Que yo, le, yo, yo no le cambiaba. Yo le cambiaba cuando lo pasaba negativo y ahí donde me salía mal. Entonces, después lo probé así, sin cambiarle con el Jason. Entonces, ahí sí es cuando ya me salía bien. Ah, ok. 
Así es, en la oración afirmativa sí vamos a utilizar has, pero en la oración negativa, como menciona Hugo, aquí con el auxiliar de dasen, se va a la tercera persona. La tercera persona afecta al auxiliar. Entonces el verbo va en su forma normal. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces sería he doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. And he doesn't have to. Any other question? Is it clear now? No more question? No question. Okay, thank you. Then no how question, to make more. questions? También podemos hacer preguntas, ¿verdad? ¿Tenés que hacer esto? ¿Tenés que hacer aquello? Entonces utilizamos do you have to? Do you have to work on Sunday? Then the answer is yes, I do or no, I don't. Then let's see, Ivan, do you have to work on Sunday? No, I don't, teacher. Okay. Uh, Maria Dolores, do you have to work on Sunday? On Sunday, yes, uh, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Hugo, do you have to work on Sunday? No, I don't, teacher. No, I don't. Okay, great. And entonces, do you have to? ¿Tienes la obligación de trabajar el domingo? And then you say, yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. En tercera persona sería, does she have to cook the dinner? Then you say, ¿Tiene Damaris que cocinar la cena, por ejemplo? Then, does she have to cook the dinner? Then you say, yes, she, yes, she does. Or no, yes, she, she does. doesn't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. And, do they have to wash the car? ¿Tiene Jonathan y Francisco que lavar el carro? So, ellos. Do they have to wash the car? And you say, yes, they do. Or no, they don't. Does he have to wash his cloth? ¿Tiene él que lavar su ropa? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. No, he does. No, he does. Then, in question, in the interrogative sentences, using have to, con los pronombres I, you, we, and they, comenzamos con do. Do I, do I have to? Do you have to? Do we have to? Do they have to? Y en las terceras personas, al inicio de la pregunta, vamos a escribir does. Does he have to? Does she have to? Does it have to? Any question in this part? No, teacher. Perfect. Then. No. Okay, let's see. Top eight of things that people hate to do. ¿Es cierto que las personas odiamos hacer esto? Let's see, number one. Stand in line. Yes. 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 Then the second one, do laundry or wash or cloth. ¿No le gusta lavar la ropa? No, I don't. Okay. And what about travel to work? Yes. Yes, yes right. You say the traffic, I have to drive like two hours, and then people hate to travel to work. And what about go to meetings? Go to the meetings, especially if they are at the school. Right? Go to school meetings. ¿Les gusta ir a las reuniones de sus niños? Go to no. school meetings. No. <laughs> Solo para pedir no, pizza. <laughs> it's boring. <laughs> It's boring. So. <laughs> Not boring. Go to meetings. Then, do you agree? People hate to go to school meetings? Yes, I agree. Uh, okay. Uh, exercise. Do exercise. Do people hate I like to like exercise? It. I like to. Ah, I okay. like exercise. Bueno. Yeah. Algunos sí odian hacer ejercicio, a otros les gusta. And what about work in the yard? Work in the yard. ¿Qué tal, like está su, ¿Qué tal está su jardín? I love work in the so, yard. So. I so so. <laughs> okay. Bueno, en algunos sí hay muchas plantas, rosas, arbolitos. 
en otros solo polvo. But working in the yard. So, acá dice, ¿verdad? Que las personas odian hacer esto. People hate to work in the yard. And what about clean the house? Clean the house? Every day. Every okay. Day. Do you like it or do, do you hate it? Do you hate it? I hate I it. Like, I like it. I hate it. I hate it's I very hate. necessary. Yes, yes, it is. You are very right. Necessary. And the last one, I don't know why the last one. Open the mail. Open the mail. Bueno, a saber en qué año si era tedioso, right? Open the mail. No, oh, pero ahora abrirlo, me imagino, en, en la combo. En el, Receive en mail. <laughs> Ah, ah, no, pero ahora, o sea, que le caiga un mensaje en el WhatsApp, va con gusto. Curiosidad, ¿no? <ríe> Ah, pero okay. tal vez WhatsApp, pero ya Gmail o, o el que tenga Outlook, no me imagino que hace. Ah, ahí sí ha de dar pereza de estar contestando esos mensajes. Ok, very good. So, stand in line, do laundry, travel to work, go to meetings, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, and open the mail. Now, let's see. Take a look at this chart. Main sentences explaining what Lisa and Tom have to do or don't have to do. I have these eight activities. Make a cake, do the homework, wash the car, walk the dog, study history, set the table, cut the grass, tidy the bedroom. So can you please, I need a volunteer for number one. Any volunteer? I'm going to, I'm going to do it. Let's see, number one, make a cake. So Lisa sí tiene la obligación de hacer un pastel. Entonces la oración sería, Lisa, have to or has to? Has to make a cake. Has to make a cake. Okay, excellent. Lisa has to make a cake. Y Tom no tiene la obligación. Entonces sería, Tom, don't have to. Or don't. Tom doesn't have no. to. Doesn't. 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 Ah, he doesn't. doesn't. He doesn't, doesn't have, have to. Tom doesn't have to make a cake. Excellent. Who wants to try the second one? Number two. Any volunteer? ¿Cómo nos quedaría esa oración? Lisa tiene que hacer la tarea. Lisa has to Lisa do the homework. Has to do the homework. Has to, has to do the homework. Has to do homework. Okay. ¿Qué hay de Tom? The same. Tom has done. Has he also. To, to, he also. Okay. He also has to do the homework. Podemos decirlo Lisa and Tom have to. Ellos. Bueno, Lisa and Tom have to do the homework. Uh, number three. Watch the card. Any volunteer? Lisa, Lisa has, Lisa Dasser has watched the car. Okay, almost perfect, almost perfect. Remember that cuando utilizamos Dasen, ya no necesitamos has, no, tenemos has, que poner das, has. Das, das, Entonces sería das, Lisa doesn't have, Lisa have. doesn't have to watch the car. In the next. Tom, Tom doesn't have has to wash the car. Ok, thank you. La oración está bien, yes. Pero en, aquí en el cuadro dice que sí, ¿verdad? Tom sí tiene la obligación, dice ah, yes. Cierto, so, cierto. Tom has to. Tom has to wash the car. Excellent, thank you. The next one, walk the dog. Walk the dog. Lisa. Lisa has to walk the dog. Excellent. Lisa has to walk the dog. Tom. Tom does has. Tom doesn't walk the dog. Okay. Tom doesn't have to walk the dog. Okay. Uh, study history. Lisa. That doesn't study. Lisa doesn't study. To study history. 
Oh, you are near to the right answer. So Lisa doesn't have to study history. All right. Uh, let's go with the but, last one. Uh, but hello? Tom? Tom? But Tom has to study, study history. Okay. Tom has to study history. Yes. El sí está obligado. Then set the table, ambos no, but that sería, they don't have, they don't have to set the table. Cut the grass, Lisa doesn't have to cut the grass. Tom has to cut the grass. Tidy the bedroom, ambos. Entonces sería, they have to, they have to tidy the bedroom. Tienen que ordenar y limpiar, tidy. Let's go to the next. Do you have to take out the garbage at home? ¿Tiene usted que sacar la basura? Yes. yes. María Dolores. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes. Leslie say, yes, yes I, I do. do. Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Do you have to clean the toilet? Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Es el que menos le gusta a todos. Clean the toilet. Yes. yes. Wash the dishes. Do you have to wash the dishes? Yes, I wash the dishes. Okay, you say, yes, I do. I, I have, have to have dishes. wash the dishes. Come to the grass. These dishes, teacher. Hello, Maria Dolores. This is, what is? Oh, los trastes. Uh, trastes. Lavar los trastes. Ah, okay. Yes. Come to grass. Cortar el pasto. Yes, I do. Okay. Ooh, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't have to. I don't yeah. have to. At no, your I work. Have. At work, do you have to wear a uniform? No. Yes, yes. I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. No, okay. I don't. Yes. Do you do you have to feed the pets? No, I don't. ¿Tiene usted la obligación de alimentar las mascotas o alimenta usted a las mascotas? Do you have to feed the pet? Yes, yes, yes. I do. Yes, I have yes, I do. Yes, I don't have pet. Yes, I do. Ah, okay. Yes, I do. I don't have pet. So, do you have to clean your bedroom? Yes. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you have to eat fruit and vegetables? Yes. Yes. yes, I do. Yes, I do. Like. Do you have to take the bus to work? Yes. Yes, I yes. do. Yes, I do. Do you have to work on weekends? No, yes, I, I don't. don't. Yes, I do. I don't. Okay, de esa yeah. manera. Yes, I do. De esa manera, te, utilizamos have to. Para oraciones afirmativas, negativas y preguntas. Do you have any questions about this? Questions? Uh, este, sí. Tell me, what is your question? Vaya, en, en ese caso tendríamos que utilizar el have to o don't have to, ¿verdad? O mm. no, no, no decir eh, yes I do, por ejemplo. O sí se puede también aplicar. Eh, sí, la respuesta corta a esa pregunta sería yes, I do, o no, I don't. Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto, do you have to wash the car? ¿Tiene usted que lavar el carro? Me dice, yes, I do, no, I don't. Is it clear now? Do you still have the question? O sea que se puede de las dos formas. Ok, let's give me es, que la, es que la confusión quizás era porque como estamos en la parte del ejercicio, en si era necesario o no era necesario, quizás por eso. Bye, let's see it is. Do you have to? Do you have to? Let's see. Clean the house. Do you have to clean the house? Entonces usted tiene dos opciones de respuesta. La primera es yes, I do. Y la otra sería no, I don't. 
¿tiene usted que limpiar la casa? Y yo dice, yes, I do. No, I don't. Entonces, si usted quiere la respuesta más larga, sería, do you have to clean the house? Then you say, yes. Yes, I have to clean the house. Y le puede agregar every day. Ok, clean. Entonces puede hacerlo de ambas maneras, no hay ningún problema. O si quiere responder la oración negativa en larga, dice, no, I don't have to clean the house. De esa manera puede responder. Is it clear now? Clear. Yes, okay. sure. yes, it is. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, do you have any question? No, no question. question. No, no question. question. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for being here with me today, tonight. Uh, I really appreciate your help and your participation, also your attention. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Please don't forget about the platform. During this week, we have to finish the section number. Which section? Four. Four. Section four. number four. Okay. We are going to start that tomorrow. Comenzamos mañana con la sección número cuatro. So, pueden comenzar a trabajar en ella, ¿verdad? Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. See, See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Tomorrow. Tonight.